What's up guys, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 10 onto your Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this is the same method for any other phone, but specifically I'm going to be doing it on an S3 today. Uh, the Nightly's for CM10 just started a few days ago, so I know a bunch of people are trying to install this. So here is how to install CM10 onto your phone. Uh, we're going to go to git.cm, uh, or rather just git.cm, sorry. Go ahead and hit enter. This is going to take us to the CyanogenMod downloads page. Over on the left side, you're going to see all of the different devices that they support. Uh, for the S3, it's going to look uh, right here, D2 uh, SPR, D2 ATT, D2 uh, TMO. Uh, these are your carriers. Uh, D2 VZW for Verizon, SPR Sprint, ATT for AT&T. Uh, select your specific device. I'm going to be downloading the Sprint version, so all I have to do is select that. It's going to take me to the uh, CM downloads. This is all of them that are available. Uh, as you'll notice, we have CM10 available as well as CM9. Uh, if we want to download a specific version, uh, there's Stable, Release Candidate, and Nightly. Right now, the Nightlies are the only ones available because they just started releasing them a few, day, a few days ago. I'm going to go ahead and click that, but it's not going to make any difference because that's all it has for the S3 at the moment. Uh, but if you watch this in the future, uh, you can select one of the others if those are available. So you see here, it's going to list it uh, by date. So we have the 20th as the last day that it was released. It's the 20th right now, uh, so that's going to be the one I want, assuming you want the newest. Uh, we see it says CM10 right here, and that this is the nightly version. All you have to do is go ahead and click on this, and it will da automatically download it onto your computer. As soon as you have that completed, go ahead and transfer it to your device, whether that be by USB uh, or wirelessly using AirDroid. That's the way I do it. You can go ahead and see my instructions on how to transfer it using AirDroid uh, by clicking the link on the screen right now. And as soon as you have it transferred, we can go ahead and continue. Also, for those who haven't used CyanogenMod before, this ROM will not include the Google Apps. That includes the Play Store. So if you want those, you're going to have to download that separately. To get that, we're going to go to goo.im slash gapps. Just go there, and you'll be able to download it for your specific build. If you're watching this and you're installing CyanogenMod 10, just look over here, scroll uh, move over to the right and you'll see a link to the latest download. Uh, you can just click that and it will automatically download that release for you. This is going to be exactly like a ROM. It's just a .zip file. We're going to transfer this onto the device in the same way that we're, we're transferring the uh, CM10 file that you just downloaded before. Uh, if you're downloading a different release of CyanogenMod, you can look up, just look over here on the left side, move over to the right, and you'll see the specific release that you want. But again, if you're downloading CM10, yours will be right here to the right of CyanogenMod 10. All right, so once you have the files transferred to your device, we're going to go ahead and boot the phone into recovery. So you can do that uh, if you have a ROM that has it built into the menu. You can just go ahead and select recovery from that. If not, just power off your phone, hold the volume up, power uh, power and home button at the same time until the Samsung screen lights up and then let go and it'll boot you into recovery. So now that we're here in recovery, we're going to want to uh, first uh, back up our device. So just go down to backup and restore, hit the power button to select that, uh, click backup, and it will make a backup of your phone. I strongly recommend doing this just in case you have any problems with that with whatever ROM you install. Uh, so go ahead and make a backup first. Okay, now once you've made your backup, we're going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset. Go ahead and just hit power to select that and select yes to delete. And then we're going to go to wipe cache partition and wipe cache. And now we can go ahead and install the ROM just by going to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card if that's where you've put it. And I'm just going to go to the bottom and I see here CM10, right, uh, 2010, August 20th, nightly. This is the one I want to select. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the power button to select that. 
go down to yes install and it will install this ROM. Uh, once that's complete, if you have the Google Apps, if you downloaded that as well, we can go ahead and choose Zip again and go select the G Apps JB that we downloaded and transferred to our device and go ahead and hit the power button to select that and go down to Yes Install. Okay, once that's complete, uh, the ROM and Google Apps will be all installed. We can just go ahead and go back and then reboot system now and it'll reboot into the freshly installed CM10 on our Galaxy S3. Uh, I will also have a separate review video. I'll put a link to that on the screen right now so you can go ahead and watch that. Check it out if you want to see a review first. Um, but I've been using this for the past few days and it is absolutely outstanding aside from a few bugs but uh, definitely something to get on if you're into having the latest on your device. Again, this is an install of CM10 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm Brent from the DroidDemos.com. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video.